Wow! You are all gonna have the greatest story to tell at dinner tonight! Okay. Barrett, I'm gonna go watch Ambulance in like 20 minutes, so... I love this trailer. Michael Bay, my third favorite filmmaker. Filmmaker! Um, this is gonna be my first non-Transformers movie of his I've seen, I'm gonna see in the theater. Um, he made my third favorite film of all time, Transformers. I'm a 16 year old boy, can you blame me? It's that line, it's April. Stop! Yeah, I've seen, I've listened to this trailer too many times. I know everything. I hate love that this is basically the movie. She tries to escape, they didn't get her, and then like yada yada. It's basically the movie. So um, it's like a shortened version, but I still love it. I did not know Michael Bay used drones. So when I first saw this, I'm like, what? That's some helicopter stuff. The drones look awesome, and like from the shots in the trailer, like they look cool. Ambulance Trailer 1 got me listening to California Dreamin' by Bobby Wambach, and this one's got me listening to Sailing from Christopher Cross. So yeah, I like that. I like it. Are you excited for Ambu LA Inns? You're not excited? Okay. Well, I am very. Nah, wait, wait, what'd you say, Mom? What'd you say? She says she's gonna get dizzy, so... Because there's a lot of drone shots. Whoa, look at that. But yeah, there's a lot of drone shots, sh shots, shots, in um, Ambul LA and so I'm excited for those drone shots, especially in IMAX. We were just in, we were just in LA, right? So yeah, I wanted to go to the LA River, but no. I'm trying so hard to pull back tears. <laughs> Ambulance, my second favorite Michael Bay movie of all time. It's amazing. Um, I, okay, problems. I little problems I had was a lot of it was like, like not a lot of it. <laughs> so there is some moments where it's like a serious scene and then it got ruined by like co comedy. Like the same exact thing I had with um, House of Gucci. This time I didn't really see it. The comedy like impacting the serious stuff. But it was, he was here sometimes. None of that childish humor that Michael Bay is like known for, especially like his Transformers movies with the two dogs, especially the second one. I love the, the references in the, of his other movies. Um, when they get one, when the, the rock was mentioned, my mom actually thought of like the actor, the rock, I'm like no mom, it's the my second Michael Bay film starring Nicolas Cage, mom. I like all of his films, except for like Pearl Harbor, his last two Transformers. I can watch the last Transformers movies, but I don't enjoy them. There's like some stuff I enjoy in them. This one, everything I enjoyed. All of his like things that people don't like about him, like the over -sex sexualization of women, it's not in here that like I that I could see. It wasn't in here at all. Um, and like childish humor. There is a lot of humor, but there's not like the dog scene in Transformers 2, stuff like that. There's none of that in here. Um, the, the flamingos! <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, there's none of his like bad trademarks, but all of his amazing trademarks, like practical stuff, explosions, um, fast paced. This was super fast paced. Um, like, I, I was surprised how fast it was into the, um, like, the robbery and they got into the ambulance. Sorry, Ambulance LA Ints. Like 20 minutes and then boom, into the movie. That was super quick. I love how like serious he took the opening. Like he didn't make it like fast cut. There is like these like f lens flares that I remember in the opening, but that's like the only Michael Bay stuff he did in there. But besides that, he took it pretty seriously. All that I Isaac Gonzalez stuff, amazing. The ending, I wanted to cry because I love, like, like the sense. I love when my senses in the theater are like, my musical senses like elevated. Like the music was like da da da, da and then like uh, the epic shot, um, like the last couple scenes were like really impactful for like the, a specific character. Ah, I I love those kinds of endings. Um, they just like get to me. I wanted to cry, but. Like, I, 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 want, I didn't want my mom to think he, I'm a crybaby because it's Ambu LA Inns. So why would anyone cry? I wanted to clap so bad, but no one in the theater clapped. Um, but, yeah. The reactions were really good because there is stuff in here I was not expecting to see. 
the trailers semi spoil it. Not really, because the context of like what it is is like switched a little bit. But um, yeah, I essentially watch the trailer. You kind of get like most of the movie. You don't get the ending, but um, well, a little bit of the ending. But that's a, I love this movie. It was originally four point five. Now it's a five out of five. That score by Lorf Bar Bar. Lauren ba Lauren Balf, I think his name is, amazing. Um, yeah, I, I, I love this movie. I really want to, especially in IMAX. That was, um, I'm sweating. I'm totally not because I'm thinking about the movie, but yeah, I'm eh, amazing movie. It's good to see a female protagonist, like non-sexualized female protagonist in the mo in Michael Bay movie, um, and she was like the actual like like cool character but yeah that, i love this movie i cannot air it. Uh, then again i'm a 16 year old boy um like i just started my career in movies in 2020 really got into it in 2021 but i love this movie so film so much um if transformers didn't exist this would be the my, one of my favorite this is my favorite michael bay movie of transformer transformers didn't exist but go watch it everything you hated about michael bay if you don't like his like action blah blah blah, blah stuff, you are not gonna like this. But if you like his action blah, blah blah stuff, you just don't like the over sexualization of women and like the childish humor, you're gonna enjoy this one a lot. Uh, my biggest flaw with Michael Bay as a director is his choice of aspect ratios. Bad Boys was one eighty five to one. I could see the whole thing with the full frame, with the full screen, with like the yeah the whole TV. But he switched to two thirty one to thirty nine to one. It's one of my least favorite aspect ratios because it cuts, especially with action movies, it cuts off high, like the top and bottom. And a lot of like his explosions go like this, blah. But no, it cuts off the top half, which was really annoying in like Transformers. Um, because in this scene, like you could clearly see the, the, the like 30% of the bottom is like not even used. Like it makes no sense. Like, even in the frame, it makes no sense, not used, so, um, yeah, I don't like his framing sometimes, but nonetheless, I love this movie, go watch it.